Hi, in this video, we'll learn how to solve system of equations graphically. So here you can see the two equations. They're in their standard form. Ax plus by equals c is the standard form, and these equations are in the standard form. So first of all, to graph these equations, we'll have to convert the equations into the form of y equals mx plus b. So I'll write that form here, y equals mx plus b. That means we have to solve both the equations for y. So, so let's solve first equation for y first. So we have, uh, write down first equation, 2x plus y equals negative 4. Now, I want to solve this for y. That means I want to eliminate 2x from the left-hand side. So what can I do? I'll uh, subtract 2x on both the sides to eliminate 2x from the left-hand side. Here, 2x and 2x will cancel out each other because they have opposite signs. On the left-hand side, I'm left with y. On the right-hand side, I have negative 4 minus 2x. Now, since this equation is in the form of mx plus b, that means I, I should have the x term first. So I'll write the x variable first. So I'll write negative 2x and then minus 4. And you can't really uh, add or subtract the unlike terms because this is a variable, this is a constant number. So here's the equation, which is in the form of y equals mx plus b. And uh, let's see the next equation. So this is the first equation. Let Okay, the second equation is negative 4x plus y equals 2. Now again, we want to solve the equation for y. So we'll have to eliminate negative 4x from the left-hand side. So I can, I can add 4x on, the bo on both the sides to get rid of negative 4x from the left-hand side. Adding 4x on both the sides negative 4x, positive 4x will cancel out each other. On the left-hand side, I'm left with y equals. Now, since I want this in the form of mx plus b, I will write uh, this, the variable term first, y equals 4x plus 2. So this is my second equation. Now, uh, first equation, uh, you can see that the first equation, first of all, you have to find your y-intercept. And b is always your y-intercept. b is negative 4 here. So that will be your y-intercept. So your y-intercept can be written as 0, comma, negative 4. So this is your y-intercept. How about the slope? Slope is the coefficient of x. You can see that mx. m is the slope, and slope is the coefficient of x. So here you can see that the coefficient of x is negative 2. So your slope is negative 2, negative 2. Now always remember that slope is always written in the form of fraction. So whenever you have a whole number, you can, uh, you can convert that into the fraction by setting the denominator equal to 1. So this will be negative 2 over 1. And here, what is your y-intercept? Y-intercept is positive 2 this time. So I can write this in the ordered pair form. So this will be 0. And since it is the y-intercept, x intercept will be 0 and this will be 1 uh, so 0 comma 2 now how about the slope slope is the coefficient of x so here the coefficient of x is positive 4 so I will have slope equals 4 over 1 remember since 4 is a whole number and I want to change it to the fraction I can always set the denominator equal to 1 to change it to the fraction so I have got the y intercept and I've got the slope that's all I need to grab these equations now, since this one, the second equation has the positive slope, let's grab this one first and then we'll grab this one. So uh, when you graph, you have to start with the y-intercept. Your y-intercept is positive 2. So I will start from positive 2. This will be my first point, 0, comma 2. You can see that the x-coordinate is 0 and y-coordinate is 2. So this is 0, comma 2. And then my slope is 4 over 1. And you, uh, you know that slope is rise over run run slope is rise over run so rise is four which is positive so you go up one two three four and then over one so you move to the right direction so here your point is here somewhere here okay <clears throat> now so uh now what you can do is um i can go more further so i'll go down here so i'll go down four and then left one. Now you have to remember that rise over run is, when is it positive? It's positive when, it's positive in two cases. When rise is when you go up, and then run is when you move to the right. 
It's positive in this case. What is the second case when it's positive? The second case is when you go down and then you move to the left. Okay, now I'll explain you why, why does that happen? So when you're moving up and moving to the right direction, your slope is positive. When you're going down, your, your rise is negative. It's going to be negative since you're moving down. And then now here run will be, run is positive when you move to the right direction. When you move to the left, run will be negative. So, so this will be negative, this will be negative. So you're going down, this will be negative, rise will be negative, and run will also be negative. And when you, you remember, when you divide two negative numbers, when you divide two negative numbers, you get a positive result. That means the slope is going to be positive. Okay. So instead of going, going, since our slope is positive, so what I can do is I can move, uh, go down and then move to the left and I'll still get the positive slope. So here, I'll start from here. I go down four, one, two, three, four, and then I move to the left one. So I'm here. Now I've got the three points, I can join the line. I can join these points to make a line here. There we go. Okay. I'll make the arrows here. Now we are done with the first line, done graphing with the first line. Now let's, this was the second line. Okay. Now here, let's grab the first line here. So I have to start with the y intercept. Uh, y intercept is negative 4. That means I have 0, comma, negative 4. This is my point. So I'll start with 0, comma, negative 4. And then my slope is negative. My slope is negative. So slope is negative 2 over 1. That negative is my rise is negative. So I have to go down and then move to the right. Now, if I go down, you can see that I won't get the intersection point because my line is here. If I go down and then move to the right, I will be somewhere here and I won't get the intersection point. So instead of going down, this time I'll move up. Now what happens if I move up because my rise is negative here? That means my run is going to be negative. So I'll go up two and then instead of moving, um, moving to the right direction, I'll move to the left direction. Now this is the same. Now you need to understand this that rise over run. When can I get the negative slope? I can get the negative slope when any of these is negative. Either rise is negative or run is negative. So rise will be negative when I go down, which is here, negative 2 over 1. Is This is negative. How can I get the slope negative? So either rise will be negative or run will, will, will be negative. But since I'm going up, that means my rise is positive. Then my run will be negative. So when is run negative? When I move to the left direction. So what I'm going to do, since I have the negative slope, I'll go up and then I'll move to the left to get the negative slope. So I'll go up two points, one, two, and then I'll move to the left one point and I'm, I'm here at this point. So this is the intersection point. So I've got this point, this point, this is my intersection point. Let's make one more point here. So I go up two, one and two, and then I move to the left one point, so I'm here. So I've got these three points. I will join these two, these three points and draw a line here. Now, uh, you can see that I have already got the intersection here. What's the intersection point? What's what? I can write this in an ordered pair form. So this is negative 1, comma, negative 2. Negative 1, comma, negative 2. 